When asked to think of someone who likes trains, most would describe them as people who would stand on station platforms wearing anoraks and taking down numbers of all the trains. But in the modern era, there is a lot more to being a railway enthusiast than meets the eye. We meet some of the people who do more than just look at trains and find out why they are so passionate about their hobby. Jake Genge is one of the new generation of railway enthusiasts who has embraced the 21st century and uses YouTube as a way of letting people know what he does throughout the year. I first became interested in railways um, when I was seven years old. I always had that interest in railways, but I never really explored it. My mum suggested there's a railway near us, so why don't we go down and just watch a few trains go by. Um, I started taking pictures for a scrapbook and it sort of grew from there. I became interested in videoing railways because I was given a camcorder for Christmas one year. Uh, I started filming trains of it and eventually started putting on YouTube and noticed people were watching it and it sort of just progressed from there because I enjoyed making videos for people to watch and to enjoy. I attend railways pretty much every weekend of the year. I would travel as far as I have to. Some, I've gone as far as Yorkshire and maybe in the future I would like to go to Scotland to see a couple of steam engines up there. I will pretty much do anything to get the shot I want. I will, um, if, for example, if a place is packed out of photographers, I will try my hardest to find a place just to get the shot I want. Uh, if not, then I'd go to plan B, but I pretty much fight to get what I want. I uh, keep coming back to the railways all the time because there's always something different to experience. There's a new, there's a new atmosphere every time and um, it just gives you that old feeling of the old days of steam which is a really great experience to have now in the 21st century. There's more to railways than just the visitors. The people who run the railway are important as well. The Avon Valley Line near Bristol has lots of volunteers who take time out to make sure the railway is maintained and run to a high standard. We meet two volunteers who have very different roles on the line. Hi, I'm James and I'm a guard and shunter here at Avon Valley Railway. I became a volunteer here um, when I came with a friend on a pie and pint train on um, a gala a couple of years ago. And my friend said that he was going to be joining as a, um, a member and a volunteer. I hadn't really given it much thought, so I thought, oh, yeah, I, this sounds like a good idea to me. And so I signed up as a volunteer and started, vol well, started volunteering almost straight away, actually. Um, starting with booking office work on Santa trains, uh, then moving on into operations department fairly soon after, after the Santa trains had finished. Um, as a guard, the duties include preparing the train. Um, you're responsible for the safety of the train and its passengers uh, throughout the running. Uh, responsibility for keeping on time. Also included in the guard's duties here are the run round at the ends of the line, um, where it involves changing the points over, making sure the tail lamps onto end, the right end of the train, brake tests, and that kind of. Uh, of stuff and then obviously it's the, the bits that you can see as well waving the flags blowing the whistle um, and all that fun noisy noisy stuff really i'm down at the railway every weekend pretty much um, unless there's a good reason not to be and occasionally also in the week when i'm not on um, duty uh, I, I get involved in general yard work also i am one of the people who looks after the dmu um, so at the moment I'm doing a lot of work on engine electrics and things like that on the on the DMU. But there's always plenty of stuff to do, so any time I've got spare really I come down here and, and do something. My name is David Cole and I'm the development manager for the Avon Valley Steam Railway. I became involved with the Avon Valley Railway over 30 years ago 
Um, like a lot of young boys, I was a, a railway enthusiast or a train spotter, uh, as a lot of people uh, call us. And uh, I progressed from collecting numbers to getting involved here um, as a volunteer. Um, I knew somebody that uh, was involved here and they invited me along and I thought it would be a good idea and 30 years later I'm still here. My job title is Development Manager and that basically means that I look after the day-to-day -day running of the uh, commercial side of the railway so that's the running of the trains, organising the special events um, looking after the day-to-day -day bookings um, but I also have uh, a role as well in terms of looking towards the future and looking at new events that we run, uh, basically ways of bringing the money in to enable us to continue to maintain what we have but also develop for the future as well. The railway is very keen to encourage young volunteers because obviously it's the future of the railway for us. Um, at the moment we have uh, around 15 young volunteers that are getting involved um, in uh, specific organised events for them. Of course with their age, being th age 13 and above, we do have to be very careful in terms of what they can do. But we do have a number of people, some of them actually younger volunteers themselves, that are very keen to get involved. So we organise special days for them and they come down and they get involved in uh, things like cleaning the, the railway engines, uh, helping on the trains, ticket collecting, those sort of things. But it's a very active group, uh, very enthusiastic. And we're very pleased uh, that we have them coming forward and going through the ranks and in due course filling the places that some of us older ones um, eventually won't be able to do anymore. So as you can see, there is a lot more to someone who likes trains than you might have thought. And with more and more young people getting interested in railways, the future of this hobby is looking as strong as ever before, if not stronger.